I'm you too. I'm super stoked. Here's why. I got the cheapest Moto Bro Moto Vlogging setup you could ever find on Amazon. It was less than fifty dollars. Let's check it out. All right, so this is gonna be my super sweet unboxing angle for you guys. We got the microphone here. It's for a GoPro Hero Three Plus, etc. But it's a four as well. I got a four. So let's take a look. See what she looks like. This was a whole $9 on Amazon. So for $9, I'm not expecting too much. But it'll be probably be better than the integrated mic on the GoPro, you know what I'm saying? Got some wind noise in my previous videos. Let's take a look here. Take a look at this. So we got your little mic. It comes with a little fuzzy. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Get the fuzzy. Got a little clip. Oh, it's actually a pretty strong clip for $9. Look at that. And then we got your standard three millimeter jack. And then we've got the adapter, throw that on in there. And then this will be compatible with your super duper sweet, let's see if we can get a focus, your super sweet GoPro. All right, what do we have next? This is also super cheap. These are the cheapest three millimeter or three M, three millimeter, three M, uh, I don't even know what you wanna call them, the sticky mounts so I can mount to my helmet, my one of my motorcycles, etc. So that'll get me all glued in and set up. All right, this is actually a cool piece right here. This is specifically for helmets. Let's take a look at this. We'll just take a look at it. All right, so this curved piece, if you could imagine where your helmet is, you can just slap it right there and this is gonna go around the front of the helmet where your chin is. So it'll be straight, straight with the front of your helmet. Instead of using like a flat angle, then it'll be a little bit off from center. You see what I'm saying? You got that curve, so it goes right with your jawline. That's pretty tight. And these are for correcting your angle, so it goes 90 degrees and you know, you're not looking, uh... let me just check them out for you. These guys correct your angles. Got that focus. So you can have the camera upright, not pointing sideways. Get you that full wide angle view. And then last but not least, this may be the cheapest GoPro case on the entire internet. Shipping was more than the case. I don't have Prime. Look at that. That is a piece of machining beauty. It is not even sealed on all four sides. But uh, I guess when you have the screw in there, it kind of pinches and that's what holds the GoPro in. So uh, probably not the most secure way to hold a camera, but hey, for five bucks, it'll probably work. And then this is included as a tripod mount, it looks like. So you got your little screwy dewy right there. Screw that into a little tripod and that's how you can mount your camera that way. Let's look right here. Got a couple more gadgets, it looks like. We've got a uh, very fine lens cap. Made in Italy. No, I'm just kidding. Probably made in China. Got an extra screw. Here's your typical GoPro thumb screw, set screw, thingamajigger. And last but not least, we have got a standard GoPro mount. This is the one that just clicks into the stinky thing. So that's how we're gonna be mounting the GoPro to the helmet. All right, so now that I've got all the ingredients to become as famous as uh, PewDiePie, let's go ahead and throw these things together real quick. You might receive some puppy interruptions. I got the doggos over here. Ooh, this case is not feeling too hot so far, guys. I don't know if you can see this, but it is not wanting to open up for the camera. Might be a good thing, though. That might, you know, make it so it doesn't actually fall out. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I see some puppy interruptions. Hi. Oh, oh, hello. All the lovins. Okay, so you've got it 90% in there. What is that? Oh, no. The camera is bending a little. Okay. Is it in there all the way now? Yeah, that's looking pretty square. What y'all think? Look at that. Well, all right, so that's one piece of the puzzle. Okay. So now we 
I've got this guy right here. Okay, we're having our first issue here. Look at that. Try to turn try to try to give that a good old turn and yeah, that thumb screw is too big and or is rubbing into the case. I'm gonna have to use a regular screw for this. Maybe I can just take a Phillips somewhere and deal with that one. But it's tight enough for now to kind of get the whole thing mocked up. So there's our first couple pieces. go on here first and this guy does one of these see what I'm saying stick this guy right here right here actually I'm gonna reverse that let's do it like this so then this can actually sit near the camera otherwise this bolt will be facing in which would hit the mouth so let's go ahead and screw this last one in here Oh wow, this is a lot of thumb screws, guys. I'm gonna look legit. Okay, one last thumb screw. And the crown jewel of the whole operation is also now sideways. What am I doing wrong here? Somebody is gonna come up with what I'm doing wrong and it will be hilarious. Why do I literally have to rotate this? Oh, you know what? Yeah, they're gonna want you to run it like that. That's funky, okay. Cause that's just, it's gonna stick out further, you know? It's gonna stick out further from your face, so it's gonna feel like more of a weight. I figured they would have it run a little bit more flat -a All right. Then hopefully, the, uh, you know, the set screw that doesn't wanna go in because it's rubbing against the freaking camera. All right, so we got the bottom mount on there, this guy. I'm gonna make some wild assumptions and say that the yellow side goes to that. And the red side is the stickier side that's supposed to go to your helmet. So let's go ahead and make a little stick of Rooney right here. Okay. Making this seem like rocket science here, guys. This is, this is some tough stuff when you're on a budget. little peeler oh look at that that's a peel for you okay and then I want to mount this just right so I want this camera to be right in the center line of the helmet so let's go ahead and put the mount right about there maybe yeah and then the camera can bend around oh this is gonna be mint guys this is gonna be the best i mean geez this is the coolest setup you guys have probably ever seen for motorcycling look at that absolutely just high quality just high quality stuff coming out of here okay that's half the battle guys it gets even better because when you're on a budget you ball with the wired mic. All right, so we have got this whole dingusy setup all wired up in here. We got this giant wire hanging off the side that looks super sweet. Elements your helmet great. And then if you guys can see in there, that little microphone. Oh, hello. You can see that little nub sticking out. That's our little windproof microphone in there. Hopefully that works good. We're gonna go demo it right now for you guys. See if 40 bucks really paid off. All right. Oh. 
Alright, so uh, finally got this microphone all set up. I actually do a little bit of R&B on this thing because uh, where I had it originally in the front of the cheek post, or the cheek pad, excuse me. Alright guys, well unfortunately that didn't work as planned. Uh, looks like we're going to have to spend a little bit more than 40 bucks to get into this moto vlogging thing. However, I did look up a couple of fixes that are super cheap. I'll fill you in later, but this video is going to get super, super long. But anyway, we're going to try wrapping some different furs around that mic, see if we can get the distortion down a little bit. Maybe it's not the mic. Maybe it's just, you know, the fur that comes with it. That little foam thing isn't all that great. But uh, we'll work on it, see if we can get it done for you guys, see what it looks like then. But uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you want more Motovlog, you know, motorcycle, Harley Davidson, uh, dirt biking kind of content, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and uh, shoot me some comments if you got some questions. Thanks, guys.